Welcome back. It's been a month since I introduced Greenhouse 3.0. I've been slow to collect enough compost material to uh, test the compost heating, but I have tested the ground air heat transfer or GAT system. I'll show you the results in the video. The GAT chamber sits under the compost chamber. Compost chamber and GAT chamber are both insulated with foam board and covered with plastic sheeting. The GAT system is comically simple. I just buried 25 feet of plastic drainage tube, three feet underground. The ends of the tube extended into the greenhouse. I covered the drain pipe with a few inches of scrap foam board and then buried it with dirt. I attach a 12 watt duct fan to one end of the drainage pipe and run it to circulate cold air from the greenhouse underground where it's warmed up and then returned to the greenhouse. First, I needed to measure the baseline performance of the greenhouse. Put simply, at the coldest time of the day, which is just before dawn, how much warmer is my greenhouse than the outside air? I generally find that the greenhouse provides more warming on the coldest days. The temperatures in this graph are in Fahrenheit, but I added Celsius lately. The coldest morning was below 16 degrees Fahrenheit, and the greenhouse was 5.5 degrees warmer outside on that day. On the warmest morning, it was 28 degrees outside, and the greenhouse provided about 2.5 degrees of warming. Now let's see how the GAT system performed. To measure the GAT performance, I took a baseline reading just before dawn. Then I turned the GAT fan on for about an hour and re-measured the temperature in the greenhouse. From the graph, you can see that the GAT provides a bit more warming on the coldest, colder days. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. The GAT is giving me one to two degrees of warming. It's not a huge amount, but my system is small and very simple. Anyone with a shovel could certainly build this. If I dug a larger, deeper hole and buried 100 feet of pipe instead of 25 feet, I would get more heating. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with a small system due to space constraints. Still, one to two degrees of basically free uh, heating is nothing to scoff at. It'll protect your greenhouse from those mild freezes in the early fall and late uh, spring. One to two degrees of heating would probably extend my season by a month on either side. If you like these videos, which focus on passive greenhouse engineering, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new video. Thanks.